اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير امين يا رب العالمين In this lecture we will study complex possessive phrases or complex murakkab izafi Let us start with the revision of murakkab itam and murakkab inakis A murakkab is made by the combination of at least two words each word is called mufrad mufrad plus mufrad equals murakkab murakkab can also be called phrase In Arabic grammar there are two types of murakkab murakkab itam and murakkab inakis Murakkab itam is also known as jumla or sentence it delivers a complete meaning within jumla or sentence we studied jumla ismiya and the other type of jumla is jumla fi'liya which we will be studying later inshallah in jumla ismiya we studied that each jumla ismiya will have two parts mubtada and khabar mubtada is the subject khabar is the predicate khabar gives us information about mubtada there are three rules that apply to jumla ismiya number 1 the mubtada and khabar will always be marfu mubtada will always be rafa in status khabar will also always be in rafa status this rule applies 100% of the time the second rule is that the mubtada should be definite in capacity khabar should be indefinite in capacity and this rule applies 99% of the time finally both mubtada and khabar will have the same gender and the same number and this rule applies 99.99% of the time now coming to murakkab inakis unlike murakkab itam murakkab inakis does not deliver a complete meaning it is not a sentence we planned to study four types of murakkab inakis the first murakkab inakis that we studied was murakkab ishari or demonstrative phrase the way to identify a demonstrative phrase or murakkab ishari number 1 when you look at a murakkab rule out that it is a murakkab itam once we rule out that it is a murakkab itam we will establish that it is a murakkab inakis second in that murakkab inakis a demonstrative pronoun will be at the beginning so if we see an ism ishara or demonstrative pronoun in the beginning of a murakkab that will be an indication that that is a murakkab ishari each murakkab ishari has two parts ism ishara which is the demonstrative pronoun which will come at the start and musharun ilai This is the ism that follows the demonstrative pronoun. A useful clue is that the musharun ilai will always be an ism with al at its beginning. After murakkab ishari or demonstrative phrase, we studied murakkab tawsifi or descriptive phrase. A descriptive phrase or murakkab tawsifi includes at least two asma in which one ism describes the sifat which is the characteristic or quality of the other ism like murakkab ishari murakkab tawsifi will also have two parts the sifat which is the characteristic or quality and the mausuf which is the ism being described using the sifat the way to identify a murakkab tawsifi or descriptive phrase is number 1 rule out murakkab itam when you look at the murakkab make sure it is not a murakkab itam number 2 The second ism in the murakkab will be the sifat. Sifat will follow the mausuf. The sifat will have the same number, gender, capacity and status as the mausuf. So in murakkab ishari, the first ism will be the demonstrative pronoun or ism ishara and in the case of murakkab tawsifi, the second ism will be the sifat and the sifat will follow the mausuf. Then we studied murakkab-e-izafi or possessive phrase. We studied that 
مرکب اضافی ہیز ٹو پارٹس مداف اینڈ مداف الے مداف کمس فرسٹ ان دا مرکب مداف الے فالوز دا مداف دیر آر سم رولس دیٹ اپلائی ٹو مداف مداف ول ناٹ ایکسیپٹ ال مداف ول ناٹ ایکسیپٹ تنوین اینڈ مداف ول ناٹ ایکسیپٹ نون ایٹ دی اینڈ آف ڈول اسما اینڈ میسکولن نان بروکن پلورل اسما The only rule that applies to mudaf ilay is that mudaf ilay will always be majroor. The following is a hadith of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Indeed, these hearts become rusty just as iron does when water gets to it. On being asked what could clear them, he Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him replied, abundant remembrance of death and recitation of the Quran. From this hadith, we will take out certain phrases. Number one, هَذِهِ الْقُلُوبَ كَثْرَةُ ذِكْرِ الْمَوْتِ And تِلَاوَةِ الْقُرْآنِ Let us study each murakkab separately. هَذِهِ الْقُلُوبَ It can be translated to these hearts. First of all, هَذِهِ الْقُلُوبَ is not a murakkabitam it is not a jumla ismiya why if we assume that this is a jumla ismiya hazihi would be muqtada and al quluba would be khabar al quluba cannot be khabar as it is not marfu if it was khabar it needed to be marfu so we can conclude that hazihi al quluba is not a murakkabitam it is not a jumla ismiya If it is not a murakkab tam, hazihi al-quluba must be a murakkab inakis. Hazihi al-quluba is a demonstrative phrase or murakkab ishari as the first ism of the murakkab is a demonstrative pronoun or ism ishara. Hazihi is an ism ishara and it is followed by an ism with al on it. Hazihi al-quluba is an example of a murakkab ishari please note that hazihi is used as the demonstrative pronoun in this case if we recall our table of demonstrative pronouns or asma ishara hazihi is singular and feminine we are using the singular and feminine demonstrative pronoun because it is used with the plural of a ghair aqil ism al quluba is the plural of a ghair aqil or non intelligent ism that is why the demonstrative pronoun that we will be using with it will be singular and feminine which is hazihi finally hazihi al quluba is mansub we cannot tell the status of this demonstrative phrase through hazihi hazihi will stay in this form whether it is marfu mansub or majroor we can tell the status of the murakkab by looking at the musharun ilay al quluba which is mansub and that will make the entire murakkab ishari mansub next we will look at tilawat al qurani which can be translated to recitation of the quran tilawat al qurani is not a murakkab tam it is not a jumla ismiya why because neither tilawati nor al qurani are marfu in the case of jumla ismiya both mubtada and khabar need to be marfu so we can conclude that tilawat al qurani is not a murakkab tam if it is not a murakkab tam it is a murakkab inakis Now let us check what type of murakkab inakis is tilawat al qurani Tilawat al qurani is a possessive phrase or murakkab izafi It is not a murakkab ishari or demonstrative phrase why because the first ism is not a demonstrative pronoun it is not an ism ishara and it is also not a murakkab tawsifi because the second ism Al Qur'ani is not a sifat. If we look at tilawati, 
it meets criteria for it to be mudaf. We do not see presence of al and we do not see presence of tanween. Furthermore, al-Qur'ani meets criteria for it to be mudaf ilay because al-Qur'ani is in the jar status. Al-Qur'ani is majroor. So we have tilawati which is mudaf and it is followed by al-Qur'ani which is mudaf ilay and together tilawatil qurani is a possessive phrase or murakkab izafi which will be translated as recitation of the quran next we have kathratu zikril mauti kathratu zikri al mauti we will notice here that we have mufrad plus mufrad plus mufrad so let us analyze Kathratu zikr al mauti further. We can tell that Kathratu zikr al mauti is a murakkab. We are calling it a murakkab because it is a combination of mufrad plus mufrad plus mufrad. Let us next see if it is murakkab tam or jumla ismiya. Kathratu zikr al mauti is not a murakkab tam. It does not meet criteria for it to be jumla ismiya. If it is not a murakkab tam, it is a murakkab inakis. Kasratu zikr al mauti is not a demonstrative phrase because in this murakkab, the first ism is not an ism ishara. It is also not a descriptive phrase or a murakkab tawsifi because the last ism is not a sifat. So let us look at each of the individual parts of kasratu zikr al mauti. Kasratu if we look at it in detail, it does not have an al, it does not have a tanween. There is no al here and there is no tanween on kathratu. We can already tell that it meets the criteria for mudaf. If we look at al mauti, we can notice that it is in the jar status. Al mauti is majroor. So it meets criteria for mudaf ilay. Kathratu meets criteria for mudaf. Al mauti meets criteria for mudaf ilay. So, what about zikri? If we focus on zikri and study it, we will see that there is no al on zikri, there is no tanween. So, zikri meets criteria for it to be mudaf. On the same hand, zikri is also majroor it is in the jar status. So it meets criteria to be mudafilai. So zikri meets criteria to be both mudaf and mudafilai. Zikri serves as mudaf ilay for kathratu. So if we look at kathratu, it meets criteria for mudaf and zikri meets criteria for mudafilai. Zikri follows kathratu which is the mudaf and zikri in this case plays the role of mudaf ilay. However, if we move forward, we will also notice that zikri will play the role of mudaf for al mauti. Zikri in this case satisfies the requirement for it to be mudaf and it will serve as mudaf for al mauti, which is mudaf ilay. So we have kathratu which is mudaf, zikri, which performs the job of both mudaf and mudaf ilay. It will be mudaf ilay for kathratu and it will serve as mudaf for al mauti. And al mauti will be mudaf ilay. Taken together, kathratu zikr al mauti is translated as the abundant remembrance of death or the remembrance of death in abundance. We will notice that we have two mudaf and two mudaf ilay in this murakkab. Kathratu is mudaf number one, zikri is mudaf number two, zikri is mudaf ilay number one, and al mauti is mudaf ilay number two. Such a murakkab izafi or a possessive phrase where we have more than one mudaf or more than one mudaf ilay is called complex murakkab izafi or complex possessive 
phrase. Once again, a complex murakkab izafi will have more than one mudaf or more than one mudaf ilay. Our next phrase is Ibn Rajulis Salihi. This can be translated as the son of the pious man. Let us look at each term. Ibnu can be mudaf. It meets criteria for mudaf because we do not see an al and we do not see tanween. Ar rajuli. Ar rajuli can be mudaf ilay because it is majroor. It is in the jar status. However, ar rajuli cannot be mudaf. Why can it not be mudaf? Because we see the presence of al. Finally, as salihi cannot be mudaf ilay. Although it is majroor and it is in the jar status, it needs to be preceded by mudaf. In this case, ar rajuli is not mudaf. So if ar rajuli cannot be mudaf, what follows it cannot be mudaf ilay. In this case, ar rajuli salihi is actually a descriptive phrase. Why? Because we have sifat that is following the mausuf. Ar rajuli is the mausuf and as salihi is the sifat. Sifat and mausuf are equal in number, gender, capacity, and status. Ar rajuli is equal to as salihi in number, gender, capacity, and status. As salihi is the sifat and it is preceded by the mausuf, which is ar rajuli, and that is why ar rajulis salihi is a descriptive phrase. The entire descriptive phrase or murakkab tawsifi can serve as mudaf ilay in the case of Ibn rajulis salihi. Ibn now meets criteria for mudaf. We do not see an al, we do not see a tanween. Ar rajulis salihi in its entirety is majroor. Ar rajuli is majroor, as salihi is majroor, and because it is majroor, it meets the criteria for it to be mudafile. So, Ibn rajulis salihi is a possessive phrase where Ibn is mudaf and Ar rajulis salihi is mudafile. In Ibn rajulis salihi, Ar rajulis salihi is the descriptive phrase. Mosuf plus sifat. As salihi is the sifat and ar rajuli is the mosuf. And the entire phrase ibn ar rajulis salihi is a possessive phrase where ibn is mudaf and ar rajulis salihi is mudafile. We will now do some practice and we will try to translate the following complex murakkab e izafi and also identify their status. Maliki yawmiddin. In this case, Maliki meets criteria for mudaf. We do not see al, we do not see tanween. Yawmi meets criteria for mudaf ilay because it is in the jar status. Yawmi also meets criteria for mudaf as we do not see al and we do not see tanween. And it is followed by addini which meets criteria for mudaf ilay. So, Malik Yawmiddin is a complex murakkab e izafi. It can be translated as Master of the Day of Judgment. Malik Yawmiddin is majroor because the mudaf Maliki is majroor. Yawmi has to be majroor because it plays the role of mudaf ilay for Maliki and Addini will also need to be majroor because it is the mudaf ilay in this case. Bintu Rasulillahi Daughter of the Messenger, peace be upon him, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bintu meets criteria for mudaf. Rasuli meets criteria for mudaf ilay. Rasuli also meets criteria for mudaf because there is no al and there is no tanween and it is followed by ism allahi which meets criteria for mudafilay. So, bintu rasulillahi 
is a complex murakkab izafi bintu rasulillah is marfu in status why because the mudaf is marfu it is in the rafa status rasuli since it is mudafilai for bintu needs to be majrur and ism allahi since it is mudafilai also needs to be majrur but the status of the entire murakkab izafi is marfu babu baiti saqibin the door of saqib's house it is marfu in status because babu is the mudaf and it is marfu baiti will serve as mudaf ilai for babu and baiti will serve as mudaf for saqibin baba baiti saqibin this will also be translated to the door of saqib's house however in this case because baba is mansub it is in the nasab status that will make the entire murakkab izafi nasab in status or mansub qadama ibn adama the two feet of the son of adam alayhi salam if we look at qadama qadama is actually derived from qadamani but because qadama is mudaf it will not accept noon in the dual status so rather than saying qadamani we will say qadama ibn meets the criteria for mudaf ilay because it is majrur and it meets the criteria for mudaf because there is no al and there is no tanween adama is majrur why because it is a ghair munsarif ism we studied that the names of all of the prophets will be ghair munsarif with the exception of the names of six prophets so we will not say adami we will say adama adama is derived from qadamani and we know that the ani ending sound indicates rafa status that will mean that qadama is indicative of rafa status which will make qadama ibn adama marfu there are some additional useful tips for murakkab e izafi number 1 the names of days are typically murakkab e izafi for example yawm al qiyamati the day of qiyama yawm al jum'ati the day of juma the names of prayers are also typically murakkab e izafi for example salatul fajri salatul asri dua of the messenger peace be upon him of allah duau rasulillahi sign of allah's grace alamatu fadlillahi obedience of the messenger peace be upon him of allah ita'atu rasulillahi dua of the daughter of the messenger of allah duau binti rasulillahi in this case we see that we have mufrad plus mufrad plus mufrad plus mufrad duau meets the criteria for it to be mudaf there is no al there is no tanween binti can serve as mudaf ilai for duau because it is in the jar status binti will also serve as mudaf because there is no al and there is no tanween rasuli will serve as mudaf ilai for binti because it is majrur rasuli will also serve as mudaf for allahi there is no al and there is no tanween and finally allahi will be mudaf ilai because it is majrur the key of the room of zaid's house miftahu ghurfati baiti zaidin subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika